Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying the latest update with Ludicrous NCC4 Extreme, DOS Box Pure, and so many other extras including the Nintendo 64 mappers. And uh, we're going to be doing a nice showcase of something going into the very next release. Yes, I'm already in progress on the next release. We're going to be running HD mode activate stereo sound for some arcade soundtracks. And we're talking about Double Dragon, Street Fighter 2, OutRun, NBA Jam, Moonwalker, and of course... Mortal Kombat. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Seven soundtracks here. And uh, this entire premise started out with the fact that Big Blue Front End truly wanted to be able to have, like, the CD soundtrack from Sega CD for Final Fight. It all worked out on MAME. And then GP Star 81 really wanted to have this on the minis. And he communicated with me because I was working on chords at the time. And he initially wanted to have it for, of course, uh, MAME 2014. I kind of said that it really wouldn't work as well as MAME 2014 as it would on, like, MAME 2003. So we ended up up in the Andy, and here we go. MAME 2003 stream, custom CD soundtracks, HD mode, HD, stereo sound. Thank you, Big Blue Front End and GP Star 81 for helping make this possible. And so many other additions have gone in. I mean, with the help of, like, Mahoney T944, Arcade 2003, Grinchy 258, yet again. I mean, so many people, and even Dink C64, who works on Final Burn. Uh, Neo right now, I mean, awesome, awesome stuff, but listen to the soundtrack! Notice that the, uh, music tempo actually speeds up when either of you or your opponent are at lower health. That is ingenious, that is so damn awesome, it is actually a challenge in doing a custom CD soundtrack. I like this, this is a little bit like uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, where you see the blood mode activate on the facial damages after the battles, depending on how well you did. Just like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I wonder if any other games do this. Oh, John Coleman, damn. <laughs> He's always a hard opponent to take out in this game. The temple went down already. You might notice if I demonstrate this like a... Uh, a while back, this game actually used to lag and slow down, but it's running so damn awesome right now. With the HD mode activated, like, literally, like, the highest bit rate you can possibly imagine. But we're still getting seamless performance and speed for the win here. Oh, hell yeah. And I remember back in the day, seeing this in arcade, it was hard to even get in there. I mean, to play, you literally had to put your quarters on the arcade cabinet, and the person would kind of see that you're setting your place in there. Oh, no, 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 no. You're going down, John Coleman, damn. And I also like, I mean, even though it didn't do as well, I like Street Fighter, uh, the movie, which was actually, it looked like, kind of like, digitized characters, like motion capture and such. I mean, just the same type of technology you saw for Guardians of the Hood, another great arcade game, as well as, of course, Pit Fighter. What other types of games do you remember having them type of graphics, which looked like real characters? There's a Steven Seagal one that was never released on Super Nintendo that has that same kind of thing. And, of course, Batman Forever and Super Nintendo as well. No! Oh, oink! This character reminds me so much of Game Ryu from Tekken, my go-to character. Love Game Ryu. Oh, we're almost to that bonus stage. But there's one particular stage I really, really want to see. But uh, speaking of Street Fighter 2, I love the games, love the movie, love the animes. I mean, I love the anime. It was so damn cool. Especially 2V. 2V, I just absolutely love that. It did kind of like a, a little bit of an origin story of how Ryu got his Hanukkah too. It almost it was like a Star Wars style story with a, should we say, spiritual uh, awakening, so to speak. Here comes our bonus stage. But again, stereo mode into an HD here. Flag files, it's gonna go to very nice release. Let's try this bonus stage here. Hell yeah! Oh, uh, we got this! Oh, that's the way to do it! I don't think we have any trouble with this. Between Chun Li and him. <laughs> I got it on Turbo Fire Mode Edge as well, though. Oh, yeah! And if I tried doing this with, like, another character, I'd probably be down to the last second and still have trouble struggling here. Ah, uh, here's my favorite stage in the game right here. This is a custom track pick of myself. I mean, I definitely want this to be in the game. Inspiration, Top Gun all the way. You ready, folks? This is going to be the last stage we do for this demonstration right here. 
cut for the win. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, let's try one more of these games at least. Uh, let's go to uh, Final Fight. And this is the thing that started out, I mean. And Final Fight is truly where the origins of these amazing custom arcade CD soundtracks came from. I mean, Big Blue Front End absolutely adored and loved the hell out of uh, the original Sega CD soundtrack. But the arcade version was so much better to play. So combine these two awesome things together, and you have peanut butter and chocolate, just like that old commercial. But uh, obviously, the Super Nintendo version, we only had Cody and Hagar in the original version. Kind of disappointed that the arcade version had Guy, but they didn't have all three in the original uh, Super Nintendo version. But then they later had Final Fight Guy, who we're gonna pick right now. And again, thank you, Big Blue Frontend and GP Star 81. Again, HD stereo CD soundtrack here at the highest quality caliber. We're going to play this in a very, very cool fashion, because uh, he's already fast, but let's make him a little bit faster. We're going to go into the quick menu options here. Input. Hockey binds for port one, which is my controller number one. Tap up one time. Turbo fire mode activate. We're going to program it to my X button. Back out. Resume. And check this out, folks. This is going to be so mind-blowing. So we got turbo fire mode activate and the amazing CD HD mode activate with the uh, awesome, awesome sauce here. I mean, we're playing flak files for the win here. Look at this. Machine Gun Kelly for the win. We can even up the ante even more here, but this is so badass. And this is the first time I ever saw this in the arcade. It just blew my mind. And it's just a shame that these type of games aren't as popular nowadays. I mean, the closest thing to this more recently was Streets of Rage 4. I mean, beautiful, beautiful game indeed. Love the risk reward system. Well, let's up the ante here even more. Let's make this even more interesting. Uh, we're going to go to port 2 binds, which would be for controller number 2. But I don't have anybody else to play that right now, so I'm going to go to device index. And we're going to change it to the same controller as my port number 1. PlayStation Classic Controller. Go up here to Turbo. Program it to my X button. Back out. So now we got two-player mode activate with HD stereo soundtrack at the highest caliber quality bit right here. Flack audio files for the win. And we're, of course, doing an awesome, awesome shenanigans there with two-player mode activate. Let's check this out. Uh, you ready? Yeah! And too bad we hurt, hurt each other, so we want to not be too close to each other here. Oh, yeah. Definitely got to keep our distance here. Coca-Cola for the win. Oh, this is beautiful. I love this. Uh, you literally break the game with how fast you punch. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. And you know what? One thing that really disappointed me is when we had games like Revenge of Shinobi and Going Next on Sega CD. They didn't have the CD soundtracks. What the hell was that about? They were on a CD format, but they didn't have a CD soundtrack. They were literally about the same soundtracks, if I recall. And thinking of Final Fight on Sega City with its amazing soundtrack, I was thinking of other games where they had like the compilation collections and they had Revenge of Shinobi on her inexplicably with the exact same soundtrack as the Mega Drive counterpart. I mean, you'd think if we're on a CD format, they would have upped the ante and had an actual CD soundtrack, maybe gotten music and Shiro to even make a soundtrack even more badass than ever before. I mean, not like it could get any better because it is so damn perfection to begin with and Yuzo Gashiro also did the music to the main user interface of the Genesis aka Mega Drive Mini and of course he helped work and collaborate on Streets of Rage 4 soundtrack which I'm going to be doing in a future video as well but we're going to load on one final game here we're going to do Revenge of Shinobi with a full CD soundtrack and it's the highest quality possible listen to this amazing stuff here 
Oh, hell yeah! He's like a sheriff for the win! He did Streets of Rage, this, I mean, so many, many, many great games he did. He even did the soundtrack to Shenmue on Dreamcast. We're going to go to options here. And we're going to go to shurikens. We're going to change it to zero. Why do we want to change it to zero? Because we're crazy! But if you just wait and you're patient, we can do Infinity Shuriken Mode Activate! A little bit off there. A little bit of a lag. We're just blaming it on the lag, but we're going to go to exit here. And uh, let's check this out. This is the way it should have been on Sega CD. And just love this game. And uh, one thing that's cool about this game is the fact that if you do the arc of your jump, you can do crazy shuriken throws. Just like if you do the arc of your jump in Double Dragon 2, you do can do a crazy hurricane kick. Point of note. Look at that. Once you learn how to do this and the Hurricane Kick and Double Dragon 2, you can play any game, Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden, Castlevania, Contra, and be a master at all of them. I've done this jump like so many thousands of times through the years, never gets over. Listen to this amazing soundtrack. Enjoy it for a moment. Oh, that is so damn beautiful. You know, all the game had a great, great soundtrack. Let's try another game with a great soundtrack. Oh, uh, low content, Star Trek Tree, dummy. Uh, let's check this out real quick. We gotta definitely do one more of these. Because there are some other MD, Mega Drive, aka MSU games, too. I mean, these are literally full city soundtracks of the highest degree. And like I said, they're gonna be running so damn awesome with the next update. Uh, let's actually pick the right folder here. There we go. Uh, we're gonna do Ghosts and Ghosts next. Why not? And let's see how this runs. One of my absolute favorite things to do gimmick-wise was plugging my headphones to my Mega Drive way, way back, and in the middle of the night, without waking anybody up in my family, I can play the soundtracks to Ghouls and Ghosts, Revenge of Shinobi, Shadow Dancer, Sonic the Hedgehog, and many, many other fantastical gems of games. I mean, such an awesome, awesome gimmick, being able to plug your headphones into the system. Love my Ghosts and Goblins, Ghosts and Ghosts, Super Ghosts and Ghosts, Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins, Maximo, and uh, Ghosts and Demons. These are all beautiful, beautiful games. Demons crushed as well, and there's supposed to be a remake of this. And even the AVG game has stages similar to Ghosts and Goblins. I love this game. I mean, Castlevania, Contra, Ghost. Oh, well, we don't want that, dude. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna perish on purpose here because I want to be able to get a weapon and get my magic without losing my armor. Let's try this one more time here. Second time's the charm. And this is also a great trick to exploit the game to get different weapons. If you don't like the weapon the first time, you can die and get a different weapon. Because it's super goes and goes. I want to get my crossbow. I don't want to get the fire water because the fire water, it works better in Castlevania games, obviously. But in this game, it hinders you and hurts your performance as far as beating the game. Let's get our weapon. I don't want that weapon either. I just want this weapon for now. We got this. We got this. This should be my uh, magic ability coming up here. Oh, yeah. Now we can do our magic attack just by holding down the button. Yeah! Hell yeah! Let's not get hit by the skulls, though. Let's do the timing perfectly here. Invincibility frames! Hell yeah! We got this. Let's not put our magic to waste here. We got birds to worry about here today. Oh, this is so cool. I don't want to screw myself on these birds, though. These birds are going to screw me. There we go! Oh yeah! This is so cool when you can actually keep this. Just like having your spread gun in Contra, you don't want to lose this damn awesome thing here. And it's great for doing the hard wind parts up here too. I'm gonna end up screwing myself over completely here though. I'm gonna so lose here. But literally, if an enemy's about to hit you, unleash the thing! Oh yeah! Look at that! 
Let's be careful. <laughs> Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah! This is so damn cool. Here's where the game gets really hard, though. <laughs> I'm just so cheesy in the game right now. Ah, on that note, hope you enjoyed the video, guys and gals. That'll be more to come.